So let's move on to the code block ID. I have uh, created the project already for this uh, multi-threading feature. The comments I have written so that whenever you refer this code, you can simply go through all these comments and you can understand what is the importance of these instructions. So this is a good practice. So I'm here mentioned to create the threads by three different ways by passing function pointer, by passing the function object and by using lambda, lambda function. So all these things I have covered in the single program itself. Let's see. So now we have to include this IO stream here and I'm including this thread because we will be using uh, multi-threading and we have to use this, we have to include this header file and I'm giving using the namespace std. Now let's see one by one. First, we will be seeing by the function pointer, by the first way. So this is your main function you can see here. I have given all these comments actually for the instructions so that it will be easy for your case. When your program is executed, then the control comes in this main function and first display message will come. Here what I'm displaying to create threads by three different ways. Simple message. So we will see first how to create a thread by the first way. That is by passing the function pointer that message you will get. So what we are doing? We are simply creating the thread object. You can see here I have given thread. So why I'm not giving std scope resolution thread? Because I'm already using the namespace here. You can see here. Starting itself I have given this using namespace std so i don't need to mention again and again when i simply call the thread when uh, when i use a thread class so i'm not using std scope resolution thread i'm simply using thread and i'm this is a thread class and i am simply creating the object of this thread class and i'm what i'm passing here i'm passing two arguments so since we are seeing by the first way that is to create the thread object by passing the function pointer so we are supposed to pass the function pointer what is this func if you see here this is a func you can see here i have defined this function func and it is having one input argument and this is a definition of my function i'm simply running a for loop and till what time i'll run the for loop that input argument will be here so what will be the x actually input argument of this function it will be the one which you are passing that is you can see here i, may, I have simply passed this function name and in the second argument of this while creating the thread object i'm passing the input argument which will be going to this function that is integer 5 so when this this function is func is what is a callback function it is a function way that is why you are passing the function pointer so and you are passing this function name and you are passing the input argument so once this instruction completes its execution then what will happen your thread will be started and this function will be called and this pi will be passed that means what will happen this function will be called pi will be passed x will be 5 and this is your for loop so for loop will be running from i is equal to 0 and i less than 5 because you are passing here 5 and therefore for i is equal to 0, i is equal to 1, i is equal to 2, 3, 4 your loop will be running and you will be getting the statement that is thread using the function pointer as callab callable. So this is how you are creating your thread by passing the function pointer. You can see it is as easy as I have described you. Then we are calling the join function. So uh, I have created this thread object and we have to ensure we always call the join function so that this main thread which is there it will wait for this new thread to complete its execution it will wait the new thread what it is doing it is simply running a for loop so till the new thread completes this its execution this main thread will not run any other instructions which are there in the main function it will simply wait here itself wait at this point so that is a thing which you have to take care you have to always call the join function for the new thread if you don't want that your main function exits before the new thread completes its execution and app, app haphazard hazard results come so therefore in order to avoid all those things you have to call the join function on the new thread now next we will see how to create a thread by the second way how by passing a function object so what we'll do we are creating uh, this is a thread class and we are creating the new thread object so you are seeing i'm giving the different name that is thread obj2 
and what I am passing here, I am passing this. What is this TEST test and I am passing this opening round bracket and closing round bracket comma pi. What is this test? Now we have seen function object means you should have the class by the name test and you should have the operator of the function. Let's see we are having the class or not. Yes, we are having this class if you see here. We are having this class test and in this test we are having public access, access specifier within that we are having this operator of this opening uh, round bracket closing round bracket of that function and what we, what in, we are passing the input argument what is this in t what is t what t will be there since when you are creating the thread object you are passing the second argument as pi you can see here you are passing this pi this is thread obj2 first test opening bracket uh, round bracket and closing round bracket comma 5 so this 5 will be passed in this operator this t will be 5 so i is equal to 0 i less than 5 and you are simply displaying this message so this is how you can create the thread by simply passing the function object so you can see how what will happen once this instruction is executed then thread will be created and this operator uh, will be called uh, that is opening round bracket close will be called and this will be passed and therefore this for loop will be executed that means this code will be executed i am calling again join function so this is a new thread so therefore i have to call the join function so that my main thread will wait for this new thread to complete its execution the other instruction won't be executed till that now the display the next display message is third way by using the lambda function now, if you see here, in this case, what's happening, I'm creating one more thread by the name thread obj3 for this thread class, and I'm using the lambda functions. So this is a syntax for it within this opening round uh, bracket, and within this close bracket, you have to give this lambda function, and then second, the arg uh, argument which you want to pass in the lambda function. So this is the lambda function till this point, and then comma and then what input argument you want the lambda function should have that is you are passing 5 so 5 will be collected here in this x so how to use what is the syntax of lambda function you will give this opening square bracket closing square bracket and then in this uh, round opening round within this round brackets you will give the input arguments what will be the x it will be this 5 which you are passing in this thread object you are passing the first argument as a lambda function second argument you are passing the input argument which will be passing which will be going into this lambda function so x will be 5 and what will be the definition of this lambda function is if you see here it means you are uh, running a loop and in that loop you are running five times the display message that is thread using the lambda function so once this uh, thread object is created once this all execution is done then your thread will be created and then this for loop will be running five times you will get this message and then for this new thread again you will call the join because you want your main thread to wait for this new thread to complete its execution and then finally you will return zero now i hope so you understood uh, how we are creating threads by all these three different ways so let us simply run the code how to run you have to give here build and then compile so you can see here the, these are the build logs you are getting zero error zero warnings how to set the build log view actually there will be the logs you have to ensure this is checked so that you can get the build logs you can see no errors no warnings so it's good enough to run your code so build and run so when you build and run what messages you are getting i'm getting to create the threads by three different ways and first way by passing the function pointer to the thread object as below so whatever message I have given, it is coming in sequence. That is, I am giving display message this by three different ways that came. Then by the first way, that is passing the function pointer. So this is the first way. And then we are calling immediately the join function. So it will wait till this point here itself. It will not execute the other code. Therefore, what is this thread object one? This function pointer. So this function will be called. You can see here. And what is what we are doing in this function? For loop, we are running five times. We are displaying thread using the function pointer as callable. So if you just tally here, thread using function pointer as callable, thread using function pointer as callable, this is five times you are getting this display message. Then after uh, five times it executes, the control comes back. This thread has completed its execution. Now 
this main thread was waiting for it therefore it will proceed further it will resume another second way by passing the function object to the thread that will come, come. so you can see here second way by passing the function object to the thread object as below that had come now in the next what we are doing creating the object and we are passing the function object what is this test and then we are calling the join so therefore this test actually this will be coming five times this message thread using the function object as callable you can see here after second way by using by passing function you are getting five times thread using the function object as callable so this is what we want actually then after it, the second thread completes its execution and then the this third way by using lambda function this message should come and then we are creating the thread in this manner so this should run five times that is thread using the lambda function so third way and then thread using lambda function should come five times we are calling join on that so it will wait main thread will wait till this third new thread completes its execution it will not exit so therefore you will get all the messages printed now let us see here third way by using lambda function and five times you got thread using the lambda function and then finally after it it, it has completed the new thread has completed its execution then we are resuming back that what we are doing in main thread we are returning zero so this is how this execution happens so i hope so you understood and uh, coming back to the presentation we have seen program for all of these three ways how to create the thread in case of the c plus plus 11 using three different ways so we will see more in the ahead lectures of the multi threading in c plus plus 11 thank you friends thanks a lot